Joel, aka the Dean of Parsons, told me that my portfolio needed to tell a story. My story. And what do I do better than make a sandwich? Telling a story. The TPC, formerly known as the Parsons Challenge, requires me to create a new visual work inspired by a theme of a piece submitted in my portfolio. Good thing for me, this journal is my portfolio. An athlete is the sport he plays, a filmmaker is the films he makes, and a photographer is the photos he captures. There are 12 images and one film that I can proudly say define me as an artist. It says to talk about a theme, or just one specific piece. Since following the rules isn't really my thing sometimes, I'm just going to touch upon really, really quick on some of those that changed my life, and then talk about the one that really matters. Roots. You gotta start somewhere, right? For me, it was here, art. Sometimes it's a good thing to observe other people's art to get a better perspective of your art. Focus. Being self-taught has its pros and cons. But here's a pro. Faith. It's always good to believe in something, whether you believe in it or not. Different. I have the unfortunate luck of being born after all these legends that already did different. Risk. Getting kicked in the face or a good photo. Why not both? Wow. I swear it's not Photoshop. Crazy, right? Moment. Happy birthday, little brother. Favorite. I like this photo so much, I put it on my business card. Future. A place I'd like to call my second home someday. First. Behold the first photo I ever took on a camera. Passion. Now, now this is the one we need to talk deeper about. This is a photo I call passion. This photo really tested me as a photographer slash photojournalist. That sentence was phrased wrong. Um, let me rephrase that. This photo tested my commitment to taking photos. You see, I like adventure. And I also like saying wing it. I remember the cold when hitting my face as the rain soaking my camera while the echoes of screaming people hit the drums of my ears all happening at 7 p.m. in the middle of 46th street at the bus stop I was feeling confused but more conflicted I say conflicted because here I am a 17 year old immigrant of Mexican descent that's going straight into the eye of the storm in this case, aka a Trump protest right in front of the Trump Tower, I managed to take photos of what in my head seemed like something I shouldn't be doing. The thing though was, I love taking photos like those. I mean, those photos where you're like, uh, I don't know if this is a good idea, but man, I love taking those photos. I like to think of my photography as perfect timing. I believe that photography isn't 100% about skill. Although, don't get me wrong, you do need it. I like to say that the secret to photography is 50% being at the right place at the right time. Then 30% is actually the skill. And to finish it off is the 20% of luck because sometimes you need a little luck in life or in this world oh did i forget to mention the eye you know the eye no okay here we go you can have all the skill in the world but if you don't have an eye for a good photo then what's the point i like to consider my photos of being pure luck and commitment. Looking back at all the photos I took, they mean a lot, you know? They're nothing too crazy, nothing too perfectly edited, nothing National Geographic worthy. They're just photos of life I've been able to capture and call beautiful. I've always been the nerd, the science geek, and in some cases that one kid that 
knows the element song by heart. But you see when I picked up my first camera and I took that first photo and shot that first video, oh baby, I was I was hooked. I've always thought I was going to do something like biomedical engineering or molecular biology. And it's not like I wasn't smart enough. I just felt like I was wasting a talent or I mean a passion, but I've always been artistic. I've always loved the art. And recently I found a new art that I fell in love with. My name is Alan Marquez and I capture life through the lens of my camera.